All right, for someone on eBay, it was just an old photo album loaded with old black and white pictures, some colored as well as people they didn't know. It was included in a stack of books they picked up either at a garage or estate sale. So they thought about it, listed that photo album on eBay, accepting bids, or you could buy it immediately for $125. And Marion Lane says it was the best $125 she <laughs> ever spent. The book is loaded with her loved ones. Pictures she says that she saw of her grandmother that she'd never seen before. And I called my mom immediately and was like, I have, I have, like, I ordered something. It's pictures of your mom, it's your aunts, your uncles, your dad. Um, and she was like, Wait, where'd you find us? Marianne Sinclair says this old photo album made her smile like she was in front of the camera. Both of my parents have been, um, like we've always been interested in our genealogy, especially like as black people, we don't have the opportunity to have all those records available to us. Um, right. And both of my grandmas, uh, while they were alive, like really told us stories about how they grew up. She got the album last week, just days before Juneteenth, after someone saw the Sinkler name on the album on sale on an auction site for $125. Marianne lives in New York now, but grew up right here in Columbus, next door to her grandmother. And seeing these pictures for the first time, well, let's just say, brought back a lot of happy memories. And to be able to see these pictures of her even younger than I've seen before, like with my grandpa, who I didn't get a chance to meet, and uh, with my uncle, who sadly passed away a few years ago as well, of more pictures of him as a child, it was just like, this is, like, these are things I would have never seen had this really random nice person just reached out to me on an, on an app for DNA. Over the past couple of years, Marianne says she's been really interested in her family tree, their history, where her family came from. The album is loaded with about 50 pictures of her grandparents, their parents, along with a slew of aunts, uncles, and cousins. These, she believes, were taken back in the 1920s. Marianne says she's been very proud of her heritage during the research, filling out the family tree, and now this gives her the chance to do some real research on the census from the 1870s. I would pay anything to get this back so that I can keep this in my family and keep it recorded for future members of our family. Can you believe that finding some treasure like that? Somebody else remembering your name because Sinkler is not a common name. And she said that a friend or a stranger found that name, found this photo album. She immediately purchased it and she can't wait to get here to Columbus where her mother still lives so she can share that photo album that with great? her. That's awesome.